morning children how are you all after a long time we will meet you through this video so let's go go to the lesson in economics people as resource so we know india is the second largest country in population we have more populations and we are now we are also telling so because of more population uh, we don't get a more job opportunities we cannot survive our life in peaceful way so it is a nasty country like that we are blaming our country because of populations but what is the fact the here we can say population of a nation is an asset what is an asset asset is a property so we are the property of our country how we are utilizing the property so we are utilizing the property or we are wasting our property that means property means here population population is the property of our country people as resource it refers what it refers people as a re, uh, resource what it refers it refers working people in our country in the term of productive skill and abilities the productive skill of uh, uh, productive skill and ability of a people is considered as that resource so that's why we called as a people as a resource when existing human resource we are the human so we are the human resource of our country human resource is developed how human resource developed so when becoming educated and healthy so when we are educated more and when we are in healthy life this or that called as a human capital this is a capital of our country and we have land resource if we have land resource we can cultivate if we have money we can invest somewhere but more than that human capital is a superior to other resource whatever it is if i have more money but i am not well i am not educated i am not healthy i am laying on the bed i cannot stand up how can we invest my money even i have more land resource i cannot work on the land means what is the use of the uh, resource there is nothing so human capital is the superior to other resources and see, we can take an example of japan so japan is a small country we may know about the japan they have lot of uh, natural disasters even though it disaster uh, it has disasters so here don't have rich natural resources japan they don't have that rich natural resources but even though they called as a developed country how because they invest more on human resources they are giving more uh, health uh, healthy care center and they invest more in education that's why we called as a japan is a uh, developed country so when we invest more on education and medical then only we we can become a developed country like japan or else we cannot be so before we are a developing country now what's the condition of our country and developed country so first we need to more invest on this two education and medical care and so we'll come to the next topic economic activities what is economic activities to satisfy our needs or wants to if if it is satisfied by their work that's called as an economic activities like example worker farmer shopkeeper doctor whatever the job so it satisfy their need that's called as a economic activities then economic activities is also called as a market activity so they are selling or they are gaining financial gain in this activity so it's called as a market activity so there are another thing is a non market activity what is a non market activity so production of self consumptions that means they consume they are called as a consumer they are consuming for their own they produce for their own consumptions and non economic activities they are they are not undertaken for any financial gain it's also called as a unpaid activity so what is a children you can think what is unpaid activities done done in a home can you tell me can you list out who is involving in unpaid activity mostly yes you can know that your mother 
Your mother is doing everything in your home, but we are not paying for your mother. She wake up at yearly and she is doing all the domestic works and they are taking care of you. So whatever you need, your mother satisfy your need. Did you pay anything for your mother's service? No. It's called as that unpaid economic activity. See here is that housekeeping and helping the poor. If you help your neighbor, if they are poor, if you help them means it's not any gain, financial gain. It is it satisfy our desire. So that's it. We are not expecting anything from them. That is a helping the poor. It is called as that non-economic activities. And we are going to see the next the classification of economic activities. What are the classification? There are main three sectors. As we know that primary sector, secondary sector, and tertiary sector. So these three sectors has the interrelationship between each other. How we will see in this topic. So what is the primary sector? Primary sector is that agricultural sector. They are involving in uh, cultivation, the agriculture, fishing, animal husbandry, uh, uh, mining. So these are that some example for uh, primary sector. They are getting the raw material. And the, what is the second process? That is the secondary sector. The primary sector collecting, taking the raw material and send to the secondary sector. What they are doing is a manufacturing. They transfer the, the, the secondary sector, transfer the raw material into finished goods. That is called as the secondary sector's duty. So after that transforming the raw material into finished goods, what they are doing? They send to the tertiary sector. So tertiary sector is also called as a service sector. What they are doing? They, the tertiary sector take the finished goods and to reach the people, the consumer. Customer and consumer. They take the finished goods to the consumer. It is called as that territory sector, tertiary sector. So what is that example? Transport, education, banking. So these are called as a service sector. So these are the classification of economic activities. Usually in our country, in our country there is some uh, division of working, division of labor. What kind of divisions? So maybe that women and men. We assume that woman has to do these kinds of duty only. Uh, she has some responsibility and men has uh, some other responsibility. Even we may think men has that more responsibility, woman has less re responsibility. We consider woman as a weaker sex. So we should not consider like that. Both are common, but in our country. So what are the activities of women? We can see the domestic affairs. As we said, what are the domestic affairs? Housekeeping, cleaning, washing, washing the cloth, washing the vessels. So what are what are the domestic works? So cooking. So these are the domestic affairs. And taking care of the children. But this is not only a duty of women. They can do everything. We have to treat them equally. There is no partiality between women and men. And the next topic is like human capital. What is human capital? So it is a exact word of human capital. Stock of skill and productive skill. Stock of skill and productive skill. So this is called as the human capital. How much we have. So when the people become a human capital so here is that population become human capital when when they get the better education training and that health care facilities when they acquire these three things then only they become that human capital or else we cannot consider as a human capital so as a human we should acquire these three things in our life to help our country and the last one is the quality of population. What is the quality? So when we go to the shop, we can choose a good quality dress or good quality of the product, whatever we, we purchase. So that is a good quality means that is a good, good one. Likewise, what is the quality of populations? How can we check the quality of the population? It is basically, uh, basically depends upon that. The three things here that literary literacy rate. How? Whether they are educated or not. This is a literary rate. And life expectancy. How much they expect their life? 
in what way so this is the second one and third one is the skill formation so this three thing acquired by the people then only they consider the good quality of a population or else they are not a good quality they are a bad quality populations so this is a, a quality of population children we, as we know that so in the beginning we said population is an asset if you consider population as an asset we can utilize the population in a, a good way and we can show the more profit in our country or else we are wasting our population and continuously we are blaming the population so we have more population we cannot do we have more population i don't get the opportunity so don't blame on the population growth so utilize that population growth and come up overcome that struggles if you overcome means our country will overcome the problems so, so we should see in a positive way okay children we will show this notes once again you go through the notes and take it in your class of notes then i will send our notes then you copy it in your class of note if you have any doubt you can ask me in a comment box we will clarify your doubts okay children thank you take care be safe